Uh, well, you know, us, us kind of sharing the uh, same division there for a little while, and, and when, particularly when he was starting those games, uh, uh, always, always thought he was a great competitor, uh, quick release, good feet. Uh, you know, he had some, some good production in the games that he played in this league, and, you know, like all quarterbacks, he had some rough moments, but he also also really played well in some of those games. So I uh, uh, kind of liked him from afar, and then and then as I've watched more tape, uh, really excited to have him. Wes, how similar offenses has he run in the future, and how long do you think it might take uh, Mr. Mullins to learn this offense? Well, I just met him today, so how long is it going to take? You know, that's going to depend a lot on him. Um, so I don't know a lot about, you know, mental capacity and, and, and uh, exactly terminology, but I know he's he's familiar with a lot of concepts that we run, and uh, it's just a matter of transitioning that language. Out of all the positions that you can get this late in the game, it's got to be one of the toughest, especially with all the wrinkles that you put in your offense, wouldn't you say? Uh, well, certainly just the nature of the position. It's, it's definitely uh, having to not only know your job, but know where all the, uh, uh, the rest of the 10 are, you know, where they're supposed to be and what they're doing, uh, protections, run game, uh, you know, if we're changing plays, what that criteria is to, to get out of a play and get into a better look. Uh, all those things are, are going to take a little time, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure like, like most quarterbacks who have stuck around this league, he's a, he's a good, uh, good worker and, and diligent about studying in his off time. So I'm sure he'll pick it up, pick it up well. And we have, uh, you know, we have, a great assistant quarterback coach, Gerard Johnson, who, you know, already took him, uh, took him alone today, and uh, just really started to go from scratch and, and try to teach him the system. Offensive line depth right now. We feel really good about it. Uh, you, you know, we've got some young guys, uh, young guys who've stepped up and played really well. Um, you know, Vidarian Lowe is a guy, that, you know, that. Uh, I guess was overlooked amongst the league, but it's a guy who can who can play some football. Um, Blake Brandell has had a really good camp. Um, just re just really across the line, we we feel like we've got some guys that uh, tackle depth. Uh, uh, Blake has been working some at guard as well, um, so we're trying to mix some guys around and see what they can do and, and add more value. But uh, we like the we like the group we have a lot. Plus you have Irv out there, obviously not really using his thumb that much, but what do you like and what you see with what he can do out there now? Well, I, I love how into it he's been since this whole thing. I mean, he's been out there. He's had a script. He's uh, going through the plays, going through his assignments. And uh, now that he's able to kind of get out there and run, it's nice to see, you know, just the explosiveness. He's got he's got those fresh legs out there, uh, you know, so he's, he's uh, raring to go. Uh, we just got to... Got to get the clearance there to, to start catching and then eventually, you know, start putting his hands on people. But uh, really excited about where he's at. Where do you see DC fit, fitting in in your depth chart right now? Uh, well, as, you know, as far as who's where and, and what number number they are, you know, that remains to be seen. But, uh, you know, BC's kind of a guy. He's kind of a jack of all trades. He's, he's uh, detailed in the past game with his routes. He's strong. Uh, 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 route contact. He's very strong. And then he does a lot of dirty work. I mean, I think you've seen in some of these games, I mean, he's cutting off defensive ends on the backside. He's uh, inserting on some of our gap scheme runs for safeties that are playing hard downhill. Um, you know, the, the touchdown we had in the game that Ty Chandler scored. I mean, BC s stuck his face right in there and the safety was hitting it pretty hard in there. And uh, he's shown he can he can kind of do some of those dirty jobs uh, as well as be productive in the pass game. Wes, between the, the joint practices, it sounds like kind of a scrimmage on Thursday. How do you guys set things up to make sure your quarterbacks get game-like reps and game-like speed without you know, also putting them on the preseason game and being able to keep them fresh? Well, I think, I think you have those scrimmages for that reason. Um, you have the scrimmages, you have the joint practice. Um, a lot of times you get in a preseason game and uh, – you know, you, you can't decide what situations arise, but when you're practicing with the 49ers, you can have red zone period, you can have two minute period, you can have a whole third down period. Uh, so you can, you can do that all in a controlled environment where you're not subjecting them to injury, but at the same time, getting a lot of good work. When you 
take your quarterbacks through that. It is, are there things you try to control to make so, make it so they have to either play off script or think on their feet? Well, I think I think uh, the unscripted periods are very valuable, really for all the guys, but the quarterbacks as well. You know, uh, those scripts kind of float around sometimes, and guys get eyes on them and are able to, and and we love that. We love that guys are able to prepare and uh, kind of see what's coming a little bit. But when, when those unscripted periods come and they just have to hear it real time like they would in a huddle, process it, align, and then uh, execute their assignment, uh, uh, we found you know the more of those we do, the more it is like real football. How much do you think you'll play on, Mullins will play on Saturday? Uh, we really haven't decided that yet. Um, you know, just just getting here, we don't want to do a disservice to him if, if uh, we don't feel like he's ready to execute, but uh, uh, we'll kind of make that decision in the next next coming days. You see him, you see him at some point. I mean, like, at some point in the game, you got to give him something. Or... Uh, again, we we really haven't made that decision yet, and, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be up to just kind of how fast we think he can pick it up, and what kind of game plan we have for this last preseason preseason game, and his comfort level um, in the offense. Thank you guys.